Esifa, this is Jill Lazable from GamerFeature.com, and what is going on, guys? We are back with another Division video. I hope everybody is enjoying the Division beta, and every having everybody's having a wonderful time, and we are so close to the release of the game. Let me know in the comments section down below if you guys are happy about the beta. Did you guys like it? Is it going to make you guys go out and purchase the game? Or are you guys still, you know, kind of hesitant to purchase the game or not? Please let me know all that in the comments section down below. If you find this video that's going uh, to be helpful and it's something that you guys didn't know, definitely go ahead and leave a like and share it with your friends in case they want to figure out exactly what talents are. So today we're going to be talking about talents. What are talents and what do they relate to? How do you use them? When do you use them? And how do you obtain them? So if you guys go to your main character, you will notice he has skills. But apart from, we're not talking about skills at this current moment. We're going to be talking about specific items like talents. Now if you guys notice, when you guys go ahead and try to access the ability section within the division, you aren't able to. And that's what we're going to be going over in today's video. Exactly what are talents, what are inside the talents and what you're able to do with it. So thanks to Miodeck, he created a website, I'll leave the link down below, that shows you the details of what the talents hold. So we're gonna go over each individual perk. One thing I do wanna let you know before we go in depth within the medical column, the tech column, and the security column, each, each individual column has its own purpose. Now apart from that, you're able to pick four different types of talents. Now, the cool thing about the, uh, about the Division, aside from other types of games, is you could actually mix and match these. You could actually pick two medical talents, one tech talent, and one security talent. Or, if you want, you're able to pick uh, all four tech talents, or you could mix and match and pick one medical talent, one tech talent, one security talent, and back one medical, or vice versa. So, pretty much, you're not confined to one specific column. You're actually confined... Uh, to any choice you so want to choose. Another cool thing is with these talents, let's say you're in combat and you're like, oh, this is the, you know, this talent's kind of, kind of not really working for me. I want to switch it up and move to another talent. Then you're also able to do that on the fly. So I know most of you guys have watched my videos are from Destiny. So the best way I could explain this is to think of it this way. Let's say you wanted to combine a Sunslinger, a Voidwalker, and a Stormcaller, and you want to use an ability from each individual subclass. That's pretty much the way talents work. Uh, but the, that's the beauty of the division is you're actually able to combine all three in one whole complete world and actually pick each individual from each individual column. So I hope that kind of clarifies the way talents work and what they do. We're going to go over each individual one. So let's go ahead and talk about the first column, which is the medical column. So let's start with the first one. It says use a med kit when not at full health to receive an overheal. And this one affects the uh, pretty much your character's overheal benefits. Next up, we have shock and awe. Now this one says suppress a hostile to increase movement speed by 25% for 10 seconds. This one, of course, will boost up your movement speed. Next up, we have critical save. This one, use a medkit during low health to increase damage resistance by 40% for 10 seconds. Of course, this is also beneficial to your damage resistance. Next up, we have Combat Medic. Use a medkit near allies to heal a group of members and proxies within 20 millimeters by 40%. Of course, this affects the member uh, healing ability. Next up, we have Treg. This one, heal an ally with a skill to reduce skill cooldown by 15%. Of course, this is beneficial for your cooldown reduction. Up next, we also have Battle Buddy. This one says, revive a down agent to reduce incoming damage by 50% for 10 seconds for both players. This is actually going to be very beneficial when doing those high, high levels. Next up, we have Shrapnel. It says, apply bleed to any target trigger at 30%. Chance to apply the effect to all targets within 10 millimeters. Of course, this also is beneficial to bleed chance. And last but not least, we have Strike Back. It says reach low health to reduce active skill cooldown by 20%. This is also going to be beneficial for your cooldown reduction. And that completes the medical column. We will then go ahead and move on to the tech column. The first one is Tactical Advance. Complete a cover-to-cover -cover move to increase weapon damage by 2% per meter covered for 10 seconds. Next up, we have Police Up. Kill a hostile with any skill for 25% chance of auto-refilling all ammo types to capacity. Of course, this is going to be beneficial for ammo refill chance. 
Next up, we have Evasive Action. During cover to cover, move incoming damage to reduce by 30%. So this is going to require you to move quickly. And of course, this is going to be beneficial to damage reduction. Next up, we have Wildfire. Applying burn to any target triggers a 30% chance to apply the effect to all targets within 10 meters. Then of course, this is also going to be very beneficial to burn chance and affects hostiles. Next up, we have Death by Proxy. Destroy a hostile's deployed skill to increase skill power by 20% for 30 seconds. Of course, this is going to be beneficial to do your disruption. Next up, we have Tech Support. Kill a hostile while any skill is deployed to extend any active skill duration by 10%. This, of course, will be beneficial to your skill duration. Next up, we have Fear Tactics. Applying Shock to any target triggers a 30% chance to apply the effect to all targets within 10 meters. Of course, this is going to be beneficial to your chalk chance. And the last but not least, we have Demolition Expert. Kill a hostile with any explosion to increase explosion damage by a whopping 40% for 15 seconds. Of course, this is going to be beneficial to your explosion damage. This concludes the tech column but we are going to go ahead and be heading towards the security column so the first one we have is called steady hands enter any cover to reduce recoil by 25 percent for 10 seconds next up we have precision headshot a hostile to pulse them for 10 seconds of course this is one of my favorites next up we have desperate times reach low health to increase blind fire accuracy by 20 percent up next we have repo reaper kill a hostile with the sidearm to receive one magazine for your primary weapon. This is actually going to be very helpful in case you're low, running low on ammo. Up next, we have One Is None. Headshot a hostile to have a 50% chance of not consuming a bullet. Up next, we have Stopping Power. Suppress a hostile to increase the headshot damage by 25% for 10 seconds. Another one of my favorites. Up next, we have Chain Reaction. Damage multiple hostiles with an explosive to apply 40% more damage from the blast and last but not least we have on the move kill a hostile while moving to reduce incoming damage by 30 percent for all 10 seconds well guys i hope you found this video helpful and informative it gives you an in-depth look at talents if you did find this helpful please make sure you guys leave a comment and a like don't forget to share with your friends and don't forget guys for all things the division head over to gamerfusion.com where we empower your gaming